to my channel. Welcome to Cindy Love and Stitch. This is a channel about cross stitching in where I share my whips and my um, projects and finishes and all that kind of beautiful stuff. But today I will not share that. Today is a special, special plus tube edition. This is my craft room tour. So welcome. I am so happy to be able to share this with you, um, the place where I can create from my heart and uh, yeah, I will share a lot of beauty with you, I will share finishes that are on my wall, I will share all my crafty uh, uh, supplies I have and also one thing that is so, so um, special to me, someone gifted this to me and yeah, I will be sharing that later on in this video, but today no whips, no haul just sharing my my sacred space <laughs> that's how it feels to me so welcome i hope you will enjoy i hope you will have a really good time put on your socks grab a blanket grab a cup of tea in holland the weather is yeah it's gloomy and it's uh, it's really fall um, so i like that <laughs> uh, i hope you enjoyed that as well so relax and enjoy this video to all of the new subscribers welcome um, I'm so happy you're here and uh, I'm happy to invite you to my home and to uh, if you're new to this channel and you think what is this just keep on watching and you will find out give me a thumbs up for the people who um, um, are watching because that seems to, well I, I hear a lot that that's important <laughs> so that other people are able to find me more easily and um, subscribe if you like what you see Welcome, welcome. I will see you in a bit. And uh, yeah, let's share beauty together. Big hug. Hi, you guys. Welcome to my craft room tour. And um, yeah, let's, uh, let's create beauty together. Let's make this a fun time. I'm at the other end of our uh, attic at this moment. As you can see, here's our bed. And there's my crafty corner. And... Um, well, where I'm at at the moment is also some really pretty, um, are some pretty finishes I want to share with you. But the lighting is not that good right now, so you won't see it. It, it just totally darkens out or something. So I will try to do that later on in this video. But first I will walk you into my craft room. And what I decided is that this video I'm going to share all the outside beauty with you. And then in the next video, this is in episode number two, craft room number two, craft room tour number two, I will share with you what's inside this cabinet, for instance, or that box and uh, all that kind of stuff. But let's just start over here. As you can see, here is White Winter Moth of Liz Matthews. And I finished that on a 40 count vintage country mocha. And uh, I laced it and framed it myself. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. If I'm going to hang it on the wall, I think I am. But it, for now, it's just really nice over here. And this is an art piece from Robin Elise Draws. I will put a link to her Instagram in the description box. And she creates beautiful art. Look, look. Isn't that a dream? Just picnicking with all your girlfriends <laughs> in nature. I love it. So that's this little corner. And down below you can see the books I'm reading. I love reading and just, yeah, sometimes I read like three, four books at the same time. I don't know, maybe that's kind of weird, but. And this bag is a gift from my daughter and my husband. And um, she saw this and just thought, oh, that's for mom. <laughs> I don't think it's hand embroidered. But let's go over here. This crafting table uh, we got from Marktplatz. It's just like a, a thrift secondhand store online. And it was a kitchen table in a family, but they, well, they couldn't use it anymore. It became too small for their family, so... It's perfect for this space. I really love this one. And this chair, well, the same story also from uh, Mark Platz. 
And uh, well, when I'm working over there, then sometimes my son or my daughter or my um, smallest son, they come and, uh, yeah, and join me or make homework with me, you know. <laughs> And on this chair, you can see there is a crocheted doily. And this doily was made by a friend of mine. She's called Sonia. I will mention her Instagram in the description box. And I love this color. We bought this together at the Handwerk Burst um, crafting. Uh, I always forget the name. Um, a craft. Cra no. Nah. Craft market. Sorry, that's the wrong wrong name, but um, yeah, she made it for me. That was so cool. And then over here you can see a knitted scarf, which I knitted myself. I also love to knit. I don't have the time because we cannot do it all, can we? Um, but this is so soft. This is such a great wool. Yeah, this is so pretty. And I really loved creating that. And then over there, you can see a few of my jewelry, the hand embroidered ones. And let me see, look how tiny they are. They're so much fun to make you guys. Just tiny beauties, I don't know. Just makes my, yeah, my heart go, yoo-hoo. <laughs> and here you see a bookmark, still available in my Etsy shop. So feel free to wander around. And I'm creating some new ones on green. And they will be done, I think, in about two weeks. Then over here is, I don't know what it is exactly. Maybe um, if one of you recognize this, recognizes this, let me know. Someone gifted this to me. It's really, it's an old thing. <laughs> Little, look how beautiful this is. It's kind of, I need to dust that in here. Um, this is also really pretty. So I don't know how old it is, but what I keep in here are my fabrics. Uh, some fabrics to, I use as um, uh, for finishing. And then over here, you know this, I think. I shared this with you in my last flush tube video. The Prairie Schooler. And I really like this. And I like that I chose to um, stitch them on one piece of fabric all besides each other. It gives it a, I don't know, a different kind of look. So there's a lot of beauty in here, over here. <laughs> and you can see that this one, this black one, is modern folk embroidery. 40 count. And this is also some tiny art I created myself with some dried flowers, which was really fun to do. Let me put this aside. I had really much fun creating that. And it's so easy. Just dry some flowers you already have, you know, in your garden or on the table in a vase and just uh, put them in a frame. And then this. Oh, this is so pretty. This speaks to me because um you know when i look at this i can feel the earth i can feel the moon i can feel um the animals you know walking around this is from iris esther and i will also link her in the description box she's an artist i just yeah i truly love her work and it's called at the pace of your own drum and when I look at this, you know, she's beating the drum. I can feel it. <laughs> I can just feel it. So pretty. And then here is Love Joy Peace by Plum Street Samplers. And this, uh, I just really like the colors in this one, the vibrant colors. And of course, the tiny little creatures. And this are Adam and Eve. I heard that later, but it's funny. Tiny little Adam and Eve. Then we go over. Oh, wait, I forgot this. This is also by an artist called Esther Benick. I will also link her down below. And she makes beautiful art. I love her pieces. Downstairs, I also have a piece of her framed. She creates cards, but also um, artworks. And yeah, really pretty. And 
and then we go down here this was gifted to me by my daughter and she said uh, it was on mother's day and she said mom this is you <laughs> so yeah it's a reminder of that uh, of a nice gift then over here is one of my first finishes and uh, first one of my first ffos and this is a stitch by jardin privé and what I keep in here are uh, some supplies to uh, to finish with. Double-sided tape, glue, um, a rotary cutter, and uh, yeah, that kind of stuff. Then over here is a little brown box my mother-in-law gifted me. And what's in here are shelves. Yep. You know, when I'm at the beach or when we're in the forest or somewhere, I always get kind of greedy. I feel like a crow, you know, because I see all the beauty and I just want to collect it and take it home with me. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. But look, look at the beauty of it. Nature is so, I mean, yeah. So, my shelves, keeper, don't know what to do with them, but who knows. Maybe in the future. And then here are some glass jars. In one I keep all my threads I um, sometimes use for my embroidery. Um, or, you know, stitching things up or putting things together. Because I just, I don't want to throw them away. And then this jar is for all my pens and my scissors. And I just, um, you know, put some linen on it and created it like... Yeah, I like that. So it's easy to do it yourself, you know. You don't have to buy all the stuff and uh, we can create uh, from uh, the things we already have. Not always, of course. <laughs> and this is where all my necklaces are in. Let me see. Look, oh, still lots of possibilities. And here, there are some dried flowers I can still use for some project. And over there are some of my books. In the orange one, I always write down all my floss tubes. So that's funny to, uh, yeah, to have, you know, that I can see, ooh, about two years ago, I was at floss tube this and this, and uh, <laughs> it's funny. And then we have the Antiquarian sticker book. I think you guys know it, but it's such a gorgeous book. It is quite expensive, but you know, I've had it for two, three years now and I can still use it. So many pretty stickers. So if you're doubting, don't. You can use them for, you know, for anything. Really pretty. And then there's my little diary, which I use at the moment as kind of a, a journal for my stitchy things. And I also um, uh, keep in, keep, yeah, know my, my business cards and things I receive and all that. Um, but I, maybe I will share that with you next time. Then over here are some things I'm still working on. For instance, this Santa. I made this last year, but you see the glue. Um, yeah, it needs to be glued again. So this is in here. And yeah, some other stuff. This is a like a candy candy box. I'm not gonna I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but you know, it looks nice, so I don't, <laughs> I really don't want to throw it away. And then this I'm going to create these next week with the greens, with the green flowers, green fabric. Then over here is the projects I'm working on at the moment. And it also has some postcards on it. I will show that to you in a minute. And um, this is Feast of Friendship. And I'm going to share this with you in my next video where I'm at. But look at the project back one more time. You also saw this in my last video, but it's too pretty not to show. Look! Yeah. So pretty. And then these cards are also from Esther Benick. And they're kind of wintry, you see, 
so I'm not uh, hanging them out at the moment. But what I love about these uh, cards, you can also frame them if you like, you know, for the season. Or um, just hang them on your wall with, with uh, tape or send them to someone because they're so gorgeous. Such warm colors. And look, isn't this a dream? Walking in the woods with all these animals. <laughs> for me it is. And then over here. Ta-da! Some coziness. This uh, doily is also made by my friend Sonia. And this vase was gifted to me. And it's... Well, someone got this from a market and saw it and thought that's that's something for Cindy. It was painted and because the original color is, I think, just a white. But I, I thought this is funky. The different greens and the red. It's daring. I like it. And the dried flowers in here. I dried them myself. So then we go over here. This is my chair. And I put on a, uh, something warm. I'm not sure how to call it in English because this, this, the chair is quite dirty. It was in our kitchen, but you know, it's it's <laughs> it was dirty because of uh, yeah, our three kids. Not always. Yeah, I don't know, paying attention where they put their chocolate hands and all that. <laughs> so that's my chair, and I just put something uh, over it. This is my light. And what's on here? That's kind of funny. It's it's. I think it's a lunch bag or something. This was also. I got this from someone who thought, um, yeah, that's why not. And then I saw it and I was like, oh, that's good for my lamp because it my lamp it does not come with protection, and uh, so that's why this is uh, over here. <laughs> this is my Lowry stand. At the moment, I'm using it for stargazer. Um, the bigger projects I um, I like using the Lowry stand for, but not for the 40 count or the tinier projects. Usually I stitch them in hand or in a hoop. Then we are over here. Oh. This is an old sewing box. Um, this was from the mother, I believe, of my mother-in-law. And she's not using it anymore, so she uh, gave it to me. And I'm thinking of, you know, uh, painting it and, uh, yeah, just giving it a second life because it's so pretty. I love the woodwork. But it it's old. It needs to be a little, it needs some love and attention. <laughs> but there's, there's nothing in here right now. And then this. This is also really special. These three boxes are gifted to me by someone and this is, yeah, it's unbelievable. She has had these magazines that are in here for over 20, 30 years. And she had a, a store when she was younger, or she worked at a store, a crafting store, a sewing store. And um, this is, wait, I'm not going to share with you what's in them, but I will do that in my next video. A few of them, not all of them. And this is from 1993. And the magazine is called Handwerken zonder grenzen. Handwork without limits. And what it's about is that um, they traveled all over the world to collect different kinds of stitching, handwork, uh, crafting, especially with fabrics and all that. So this is just, this has stunning stuff in here, you know. Look at this, only this. And this kills. So um, the Heritage Stitcher, she really loved this magazine, these magazines. I took uh, two of them with me at uh, to Dutch Mania, and um, she took them home. And she asked me to find out if there are any Ukraine stitches in the magazines. I haven't done that yet, but I will do that. So in my next video, I will share that with you and. Um, yeah, if I see some nice stitching in here, I will share it with you. Because there are a lot of magazines, you guys. 1995, 1992. Beauties, treasures. Then we go over here. This is my blue box. And what I keep in here are all my whips. 
and all the projects I'm getting up and planning on working on, I don't know, in the next life. <laughs> I don't know when there's a, I don't know, when it calls me, you know. And then on top you can see Queen Anne's Pin Pillow. I don't know if you've heard about this. This is from Katie Strecken. I will also mention her in the description box, Katie Strecken Embroidery. She has a floss tube and she's also, well, she's, I don't know if she's officially a designer. I'm not sure when you're officially a designer, but she designs and she creates gorgeous stuff. And this is um, a class I'm joining that will begin in January. I will not open it. I will share this with you uh, in my next video. This, oh, this will be so much fun. And there are some books on here just to inspire me, you know. They're just fun to look at. And we all know this, of course. Ta-da! That's also there. But I change this up sometimes. And this is embroidery to inspire me to embroider. So then we will go over there in that, um, how do you call, you know, that thing. The ba I, I'm calling it a basket for now. In the basket, I keep frames that are, uh, I cannot use at the moment, frames that I um, got, you know, was gifted by someone or I found at the markets or um, from other pieces and I keep them in there. So when I finish something, then I can use it, you know, check out if I have something that fits. And on top, you can see my DMCs. I store them like that because I was inspired by a little Nell by Little Yellow Housecrafts and uh, she has not made a video for a while but I really enjoyed her videos. I still do, sometimes I look back. <laughs> and uh, she stores her DMCs like this, only she has like three of these because she has so many threads. But I think this is um, a great way, you know, you can take them off. Oh, that's the lid. Sorry. You see? And uh, so you can stack them together. I'm not sure if you can also buy them uh, loose, you know, that you can build them up before you put on the lid. But for me, it's a good way to store my DMC. And then in this plastic bin, I keep all my projects. I'm not displaying at the moment. So my Christmas projects or some other things. Um, that I'm not, uh, yeah, displaying. So my Christmas stuff is in here and uh, some other stuff. Then we will go over here. This is my IKEA cabinets. Ta -da. I'm not going to open all the drawers today. Oh, I'm on my knees now, so I'm going to stand up. <laughs> Um, let's go to the top. There you have my Modern Folk Embroidery, a sampler from Zealand. Wait, I will show it to you like this. Yeah, that's better. And that's stitched on a 36 count. And this is a card from my husband. <laughs> I wish, I wish the sun shines and the birds, for you I wish the sun shines and the birds sing. And this is from my daughter, and it says, You might have a mom, she might be the bomb, but ain't nobody got a mom like mine. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, well, this is something I just bought at a market, because, I don't know, tiny little creatures. <laughs> I just love them. And this book, it's um, an old book I found and I thought, well, that, that could be fun to create, to make pictures, you know, for my necklaces or for um, finishes. These are some soaps. I should use them. They smell so good. Sometimes I just walk by, you know, and sniff them <laughs> and like, oh, mm, smells good. It's nice. And then behind this one is my flower press. 
And in here, I keep all my finished necklaces that are not yet sold, but are on Etsy. And then in these two round boxes, I keep my um, tags and all that kind of stuff. I make my own tags, my plus tags, and uh, yeah. So that's in there, and also some plastic bags and all that kind of things. And uh, I'm not even sure what's in, in... Oh, in here I keep my uh, pillow filling and all that kind of things, yeah. To, uh, if I create a tiny pillow, you know, filler. And then over here are two empty booze bottles. <laughs> And I, yeah, I saved these because I just think they're really pretty. Look, aren't they pretty? I love the color combination of the yellow and the green. And here the golden one. I cannot throw that away. I need to get some flowers and put them in here, in the, in this one. These, bloop. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then over here, ta-da-da-da, surprise. My finish, my FFO of Mojo Stitches. I'm going to share more about this with you also in my next floss tube um, because I changed this up a little and I laced it and finished it. I had the frame already laying around so that was not that hard to find. But look at the color and the fabric. I love this. It was a risk you know when I changed it up but I think it turned out really great. It's a 32 count and this tiny little guy I also found somewhere at some market. <laughs> it seems like I'm, I'm always going to markets, but I'm not. So it's, it just comes to me. And this is one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Oh, still my winter one. And I take it downstairs when it's winter, but I will keep it out all year up here because it's still one of my favorites. It's by Twin Peak Primitives. And then we're going to a very special place. This is, I've been waiting for a long time to share this with you. Um, first, the stitches, the left one is from Mojo Stitches. And uh, uh, what is it called? Something with noses, teasing noses? No, I'm sorry, I'm not sure at the moment. Um, ask me if you uh, want to know anything. I mean, if you want to know something about this video or more about the things I share, about the projects, just comment, give me a comment or, you know, um, send me a DM on Instagram, whatever, uh, email me and um, just ask me the question you want to answering. And this is Liz Matthews, the first day of Christmas. Still love this. Okay, the treasure I want to share with you today are these cabinets. Look how many drawers. I was gifted this from the same friend that gifted me the, the books, the magazines, the older magazines. She worked at a crafting store about 30 years ago and she kept the magazines and she kept these cabinets. And the story is that uh, there was a man, a craftsman, a woodman, who made these cabinets by hand. And what he did is that he went to different kinds of stores and tried to sell these. So she gifted these to me. They're all made by hand. And you guys, you're going to have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Look what's inside of these. Look. I mean, this is... I Look! And this is only one drawer. They're all filled with floss. I mean... And look at this drawer. Opa. And then I'll take you with look, even gold. 
Oh man. And this is all um, Madeira. And I believe it's for machine embroidery, but I'm not sure. I am using it for a project right now, a new start. And that new start I will share with you in my next video. But look, it's also filled with DMCs. And I will show you one. These are all wooden and made by hand. I mean, how is that even possible? How many work was put into this? It's just unbelievable. I will open some more for you to gaze at. <laughs> if you want to come visit me sometime just to, to look at this, you're welcome. Because I mean, all the colors, all the DMCs almost are here. I just look at all the greens. It's not, it's not normal. I just, uh, I feel so spoiled. And here are the blues. Arr! Oh man. Look. And they are not all DMCs. Uh, she told me some are anchors, some are also, uh, also have another name she mentioned. I'm not sure what that is anymore, but. And their number of the floss is also on the cards look at this oh i need some time this winter to search this all out and i don't know it's just a, it's just an amazing gift and you can it's what i think is fun you can see that it's made by hand because they're different sizes you know um this one is a bit more wider than the upper cabinet and uh also these handles, they're also made by hand. You can see that it's just, yeah, it's amazing. And I try, I, I'm trying to find out who made them, you know, if there's someone who knows who made them because um, they're so stunning. Sometimes I just open them up and leave them like that so that I can look at them, but it's gorgeous. Now then here, this is what I created myself and designed myself because I thought Let's try. It's funny sometimes to try something different. And then over here. I need to frame this. But I don't want to frame this myself because it's in silk. On 40 count. It's Anne Roberts. No, no. Oh. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I did not say anything. And here's a tiny, tiny one. 28 count. And here's so a tiny pillow I made. And this is some embroidery I did. And then in the cabinet are different kinds of things. <clears throat> Project bags, uh, little frames papers, fabrics, um, wool, yeah, threads, all kinds of things. So what I want to do is share that with you next time in my next video. And um, so that this won't be too long. So this is craft room tour number one. I hope you enjoy. I hope you're having a good time watching this video. And I also hope you will have a good time watching my next one which will be craft room tour number two and which also will involve all the magazines and I will select some really pretty um, cross stitch patterns from the magazines and share them with you. So I will not wait too long with this. Maybe I will film it next week because yeah, it's not fun when it takes too long. <laughs> Uh, I hope you will have a really, really good time and uh, good fall with all the coziness and hugs and warm cups of tea and playing games together with your family and having fun walking outside and enjoying all the prettiness of nature at the moment. And wait, I will turn it around. Yay! Oh, there you are. <laughs> and I will hope to see you um, at my next video and uh, craft room tour number two. I wish you all, uh, yeah, a nice weekend with lots of stitching, lots of fun.
Big hug. Bye-bye.